Hello guys, welcome to my video and in this video we are going to learn how to fetch data from an external API. And we are going to use the API called Pokey API and as you can see it's an API full of Pokemons so we can type here any Pokemon. Bulbasaur for example and here the name of the ability. Let's type little again here. So yeah, we are going to use this API. So let's go to our VS Code and start coding. Here in VS Code, we have to create three, three files here. One called the index.html, the styles.css, and then the script.js. So here in the HTML, we can type here the HTML here. Really simple, we can change here for Pokemon API. And the styles.css, I will leave a link with the CSS that I previous built for this video because I will not build the CSS from scratch here in this video. So you can check it out in the description, the CSS. Okay, so we have the CSS now. Let's go to the index. And let's start coding here in the index. Let's put here the CSS. Let's link styles. CSS. Okay. Um, here in the body, we can start coding here in our man, our deep cert box. It will have an input. an ID and a placeholder with the Pokemon name here. Yeah. Um, we have we need a button here as well. Well it will have ID search. In here we can use the windows plus dot windows dot here to get a search emoji here let's use this one to one okay now let's build our Pokemon box let's here type a div of image here and let's create here another div with the Pokemon info where it will be the name and the weight of the Pokemon so here we have our H1 and name zero and the weight let's put here let's put the description here Okay, so let's go to our browser to check it out. Well, so there was a typo here because the CSS didn't apply here. We had to change the search box to search box here with the being the per case. So now if, if we save, it is working perfectly. So yeah. Oh, we have to get our image as well. Let's put here our image. Let's go to the website here and here we can get the image right here in the spirits and then let's get this one the official image I think it is right I don't know it's this one okay let's put here let's come back here and yeah our image is right here So now let's go to our script.js and let's fetch our data. So let's create here a function called get Pokemon. Let's call this function here, the get, get Pokemon. Yep, okay. Let's use it here the fetch from JavaScript. Fetch. 
get here. Yes. And let's get our API here in the website. So let's come back here. Let's open like this. Let's get the API right here. This one, this link. Let's paste right here. And then here we have to type then to get our response. We have to put this response between parentheses. And we are going to use our arrow function here. The response to transform in JSON the format here. And then we are going to get our data. So our data is right here. We are going to use a variable function to return again. Let's console.log this data. Let's see what we got here. Let's catch as well if there is an error or not. So we can console.log the error here. We can type a message as well. Like Pokemon not found and let's save this let's go to our browser and let's see if something happened here let's go to our console.log and here the message part closed before a response was received uh, what happened okay of course it didn't work because i didn't say here the script the import here so let's put here the script script.js so now <laughs> now it will, work, it will work okay so we have here our response here and then let's see our name here our pokemon beetle here we have an image right here and yeah so now that we got this response, we just have to um, set everything here, the input, when we type the name Ditto here and click here in the button, our information, our image and name, it, it will be displayed here. So let's start this part of the code right now. Let's go to this code. So let's start selecting our button here, use the document.query collector the id it is cert here search and then dot add an event listener it will be a click so when we click in the button we have to get our information from the api so when we click this button it will trigger this function it will call okay and now let's put here a e so just to the prevent the default from our button e dot prevent default let's set right here the Let's set a const called name to get our value from the input. So document dot selector here get Pokemon name dot value, and now we can use this name here. We are going to pass this name in this API here, but we can't use this type of vault, so let's change for this one. I don't remember the name of this one, but it is. So with this we can use functions like JavaScript code here inside, that's why we are using the variable here, the const variable. Okay, so now, so now let's generate our HTML here inside the den here. Let's delete this console log that we don't need anymore. 
let's type here document query selector and let's get our class pokemon is pokemon box okay so pokemon box inner html we have to say equals here a simple quote here okay so everything that will be here inside the this inner html here inside these quotes the simple quotes it will generate inside the class pokemon.box so if we go to the 18 mail here we see here the class pokemon box the div and here inside we have another div so you're going to get all this code here inside we have to crop here and let's go to our script and paste right here okay let's check okay it is working because we are calling our function but we don't have to call the function anymore so let's come back here and let's delete this let's save let's come back to our browser and here we can't see anything but if we click this button see generate the HTML this data is not a real the real data we just like typing the HTML there but we are getting this data this image from the API and we display right here so let's come back to our code and here well we already have this so we just have to um, see what data we have to put right here so like this let's fill all the spaces that it will be from the API the data the weight here okay so let's check the API here so here if we type data we have everything here so the name it will be here outside somewhere let's see let's see oh here name zero here so oh sorry oh wait, this, this is the name here the zero here so let's type here data dot name can use this right here in the alt as well the weight the weight is right here it's outside as well after data inside the, the weight okay and the image the image is the tricky one let's see so the image it is inside the spirits as we saw before and then after spirits it is inside other and then it is inside offshore artwork and then from default so this is our image and we have to go all this path just to get this from default so let's start typing it is data dot spirits dot other and well here's a, a tricky part that i told you guys um let me see okay oh offshore artwork so when we type the dash inside an api call it won't recognize so we have to what we have to do is type brackets and then quotes and then we can type here offshore artwork and then we can type here the front default well usually you just have to type dot and dot and then you, you get your or your data from last part here but in this case we have the dash here that's our problem but with this brackets and quotes it will work let's test let's type here middle click and okay well it actually didn't work because something happened with our image let's check the path again from before okay i typed twice here okay okay now it is working our api so let's see if uh, we can do something more here okay so let's improve our code so here if you type like 
in uppercase the name of Pokemon Giro and click here. Oh, well, let's refresh our page. Our page actually. Type here Giro and try to search. It won't come out anything because, well, the API just understands everything in lowercase. So we just have to transform our value here inside the input to lowercase every time. And then let's type here Tua Sor. Okay, let's try to put this first letter in an uh, uppercase just to look beautiful. Okay, so let's go to our code. And here we are going to create two functions. The first one, it will be the function lowercase name. It will receive a string here. And it will return a string dot lowercase. Really simple. So here we just have to create another const the Pokemon name equals to name. Oh okay, here lowercase. And here we're going to pass the name here and get the Pokemon name here. Okay. So yeah. We, just, we are transforming the the value here if it is uppercase to lowercase. So let's test. Here we can type our Pokemon, and yeah, it is working. So now let's go and create another function just to get this capitalized letter here. So okay, let's create a function called function. Capitalize first letter and string. It will receive the string here and it will return the string dot char at the position, zero, the position zero here. It is the first one. It will get the position zero and put to uppercase. Uppercase here okay and plus the rest of the string we have to type string dot slice dot one so it will be the rest of the string right here so let's get this function here and for example here let's put here okay let's put everything here as well okay Let's come back to our code. Let's test again. Okay, it is working. Let's put here Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Oh, here, okay. Still working. Perfect. So, yeah, guys, that's it. We just fetch our data from the Pokey API. It is a cool API to learn because it is a uh, API with games and most of the people like games so I think it is really fun to play around with this API so yeah hope you enjoy the video and see you next time